Hi, I'm Tony Maserati. I'm a mix engineer. I've worked on projects like Pink and Black Eyed Peas, Jason Mraz, uh, Beyonce, and Lady Gaga. We're here in Los Angeles at Miraval Entertainment, and we're going to talk about Sonix plugins. I use a mixture of, of hardware and plugins. Um, I, I have a setup that I call hybrid, where I can, if I want, sum in the analog world, um, and I can also select pieces of hardware via hardware insert in Pro Tools. And uh, I can have a plug-in before or after that, or no plug-ins, obviously. Um, I, I also quite often, uh, more, more, more recently, in the case of uh, an Alicia Keys uh, song that I did, mixed in the box using uh, my native system. I choose, I choose hardware based on a selection of sounds that I've, that I've uh, worked on throughout my career. Um, and each piece of a, a equipment, whether it's a GML 8200 or a Chandler a Curve Bender or um, a retro instrument, uh, stay level. Um, they're all always chosen based on their color and what they're going to add to the sound um, and how they'll help me mix that sound into the overall mix. Um, the choices are made very quickly. So I'm, as I'm working, uh, the ideas, I'll, uh, you know, I'll have written down a bunch of ideas mix-wise of what I, what I hope to achieve, what I'd like to try on specific things like the vocal sound, the vocal effects, how that's going to sit, or maybe a section I'll want to change the vocal sound. Whatever it takes for me to get that sound is what I do. It, I'm not, I'm not an analog purist by any stretch. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll use a combination of digital and analog, or I'll use all analog or all digital. It doesn't matter to me. Plugins have changed the way I work dramatically. Um, quite often, I, I, would, I would do subtractive equalization with a parametric EQ. Um, and then I would use, say, a, uh, say, an 8200 or my ITI or something like that. Now, I can easily do that with uh, with an, you know, with an Oxford EQ. So I first started using plugins that way. Uh, I started using EQs, digital EQs, as subtractive, and then used all of my analog stuff as, um, you know, additive. Um, plugins have changed the way that I work. One, because they have changed our, the, the way the music sounds. I mean, popular culture <clears throat> is a moving target. And I've got to make sure that I'm, you know, ahead of or at least, you know, in the curve somewhere. And I'm always paying attention to what music sounds like on the radio, in the different genres that I work in, and, and a lot of that sonic quality that's happening comes from plugins. Um, uh, obviously, we're here to talk about uh, the Pro Codec, and that plugin is helping me perform so my clients can hear what it will sound like when it's mastered. Uh, what it will sound like on their laptop speakers and it a little closer to what it will sound like as opposed to me just fudging a pre-mastered uh, mp3 for them. Um, so to say the least, it's, it, plugins have, have done so much to change the way we listen, the way I do my job, the way my clients pay attention to what I do. Uh, you yeah, know, huge amount. That requires a different equalization, a different compression, all of that. Well, I'm going to get much more radical about it. 